Hi guys, here's part two of building a column chart or bar chart, okay? So if you didn't catch part one, uh, we kind of set the foundation for what we're going to do in this video and we're going to take it uh, one level up. We're going to add sales for multiple months for each salesman. So for example, Lisa has a January sales of 50,000, February of 55, and March of 63. Now if we want to see all this stuff on a single chart, uh, what we could do is we can make a side-by-side -side bar chart where under Lisa there would be three bars of these of various heights. Okay, So let's go ahead and build this from scratch. Let's go to insert, column, clustered column chart. Okay. And Excel is pretty smart. It automatically tried to make this chart for us, and for the most part, it did a good job. But let me start from scratch, okay? So, in order to start from scratch, let me go to Chart Tools, Design, Select Data. Let me go ahead and remove all these series that Excel added, okay? And now we're starting from scratch, as you can see. All right. So first things first, we're going to add series. And here we have three series. In the first video, we only had one sales amount. So we only had one series to add. So let's go and do that. Let's add first the series name, January. And then the series values, we'll highlight the values for that month. Hit OK. Then we'll add February and highlight the amounts for February and see it's com compiling this as we're doing it so you can see the fruits of your labor as you're going through you know whether you're doing something wrong let's add one more for March and in the series name we'll just click on March you could also type March here if you like and for the series values I first delete that and then I highlight the values for March hit OK and as we can see from the chart, it's starting to look good. The only thing we need to do here is change this horizontal axis from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the names of the salesmen. And the way we do that is over here, the second part of building a chart, which is the horizontal axis labels. Let's click Edit, and let's just highlight the salesman. Don't take in the header. Click OK, click OK, and voila, we got ourselves a side-by-side -side bar chart of each person's sales for three months. Okay, we can go ahead and do it under chart tools and layout, we can add a chart title and play with a number of other things, but for the most part, this looks great and the legend over here is actually quite useful because it tells us which color bar for each person it reflects which month. Okay, so I hope this was helpful and you followed along. If this was a little bit over your head, you can go back and watch part one of uh, building a column chart. And uh, in the next video, we'll try to take it one step further and maybe add one more level of complexity. Okay, till next time, comment, subscribe, watch my other videos, and practice, practice, practice. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.